Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I want to show you a really cool program uh, to add video, box art, and wheel to your game list XMLs uh, within Emulation Station. Uh, so basically you're going to go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to this Gengal game list XML generator. Um, now this was created by Jax uh, and this is a phenomenal small program very easy to use. Um, so basically you're going to want to download that and once you have it we're going to go into Gengal and we're going to launch. So you want to make sure that you are not in suffix mode. So if I go to suffix mode, this is suffix mode. I want to go to tools and uncheck suffix mode. Next thing you're going to want to do is just go over to browse, hit browse, and you're going to want to do this for each system that you have ROMs for. So I'm just going to show you Daphne today. So I'm going to go to my portable game station, emulation station, ROMs, and I will scroll down and just select Daphne and that's all we want to do. Hit OK. Next you're going to want to check image, marquee, and video. So the subfolder will be box art, wheel, and snap. And then you just hit generate game list.xml. And depending on how many games you have, um, it may take a little longer. I've only got 13 in my Daphne folder. So it's been created, so I'm going to click OK. And you can keep going for different systems if you want. Um, basically, once it's created, I'll close Gingo. What you're going to want to do from here is go into your ROMs folder that you created the game list XML. There it has been created. And I'm in Daphne. Now you're going to want to create these empty folders. So create a folder named Box Art, a folder named Snap, and a folder named Wheel. And then from there, copy your Wheel files into the Wheel folder. Um, and make sure that the names are exactly matching the ROMs names. And you would do the same thing for your box art and your snap. I don't have any box art for Daphne, but um, I do have the snaps and the wheels. And what this allows you to do, let me just launch up here. I'll just launch windowed. There we go. And I'll come down to. There's Daphne. Now mine's running a little sluggish because I'm recording, but the videos do play there. And in the top left is the wheel file. So if I were to do one that I didn't add video so let me see I think Atari so basically this is what you'll have if you just use the built-in scraper within emulation station uh, it'll scrape your box art and tell you a little bit about the game um, but if you use the Gengel to create your XML and add all of your media so that would be your wheel your box art and your snaps then you'll be able to see it come up for super display, it just shows the video, and in the top left, you get the wheel. Um, you could change it up. I mean, you you could put your box art in the in the wheel folder if if that's what you want to use instead of wheels. It's totally up to you. Um, but if you're using the super display, some some themes use um, all the box art, the wheel, and the snap. So totally up to you. But this is the simplest way that I've found to add video files. 
um, to my game list XMLs for Emulation Station. So again, this was created by Jax. And uh, my hat's off to Jax. Thank you very much for this uh, little tool. It's very, very useful. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.